So in today's tutorial, we will learn find function in VBA. So guys, I have created a data wherein I will be using the find function. So as you can see on my screen, I have a data wherein some manager names, their line of business, cost center, month, SLA and KPI percentage have been given. I have one drop down here wherein the names of these managers have been given. What I am going to create is if I select any of the manager and click on a button, the KPI or SLA associated with that manager should be populated here. And for this, I will use find function. So guys, uh, what I will do is I will go to developer tab and then I will insert a new module. So inserting a new module and sub find data. So, uh, you know, in order to create such kind of functionality, I will have to declare some of the variables. So what I'm going to do is I am declaring one variable so that I could specify the sheet name. So I'm saying WS as worksheet. Him find well as range. Find well, it's a variable. It will find a particular value for me. So I have declared two variable. So first of all, I will define this worksheet. So set keyword will be used here. Set WSD. I am taking the initial of this worksheet. So I am saying sheets data. So my VBA will understand wherever I will use this WSD. My VBA code will understand WSD as this sheet data. Now I am I am defining one last row so that i could create a dynamic range so i am saying wsd dot cells rows dot count comma one because these managers are on column a that is why i have taken column one here and excel up dot row now guys i am going to create creating dynamic range so how i will create this dynamic range i'm saying set i will take this variable now find well equals to wsd dot range and within range i will again use wsd dot cells so here my data is getting started from row number seventh so i am defining seven here column one then i will copy the entire code and in place of seven i will use this last row and i will close double parenthesis here i will use that find function so the syntax of find is first of all what actually I'm looking for. If I manually use control F here, so you can see the control F means find what. So this syntax should be used in my VBA code. Okay. So this is what I'm writing here. Find what. What actually I'm looking for is I am looking for the value which is particularly associated here like this Kapil Diva. So this is on cell B3. So what I will do is I will say WSD dot cells 3 comma 2. 3 comma 2 means the value which is given on cell B3. Then look in. Uh, so Looking should be Excel values and 
look at cell hold, it will match the whole value. So I have forgotten to put in one comma here. So this is the whole syntax of finds, guys. So um this is what I have mentioned here. Now this is my find well. Now I am saying as soon as I will click on my button, how it will return the associated value. Means what I am looking for here is the SLA for couple is SLA and KPI for couple the one which is given on column E and F here. So what I will do is I will say WSD dot cells three comma three because this is given on C three. So column is three and row is also three. So three comma three the value which I am looking for is find well dot offset. So here I do not want to go down. I just want the value column wise. So I will put in one comma here because uh, I want the value on the same cell. But the data I want here is from fourth column. So I will put four here. Okay, then I will again copy this and paste here I will change this to 4 and this will be 5 now guys let me check if it's working so what I will do is first of all I will because I have written down my code on a module so I will have to call this on a command button so I will copy this subroutine from here and I will go back to developer tab again and I will be choosing one command button from here and I will place it here and then I will change the name of this command button to get value let me place it here so I will simply call as find data. So guys, let me check if it's working. So if I click on this button, so it's giving me 85 and 81. So if I talk about Kapil Devan, the SLA is 85 and 81. Let me check the Mano Mehta now. So 83 and 92. So you can see here, Mano Mehta 83 and 92. So now, guys, as you can see here, Rahul Malhotra Kapil Divan Mohammed Ansari. I have found one value here which is not there in my list in below list. So, if one what if I click on this button, what will happen? So, if I click on this button, I have got one runtime error 91 object variable or with block variable not means the value which is here is not there in my range that is why it is throwing me an error so what i will do is if the value does not exist within this range then we can handle it through an if statement so what i will do is i will use and if statement just before getting the value so what i am saying here is if not find well is nothing then it should return this value else it will throw me a message it will say manager name is not in list db information then i will close my if statement now guys let me just check this 
so if i am changing it to tarun tandon and clicking it's giving me the correct result because the sla's and kpis you know uh, associated with tarun tandon is 93 and 83 which i have got here but again if i select navin sharma and click on this button now it's throwing me a message box so let me just show you manager is not in list but guys the values which were you know which we had fetched for tarun tandon are still there so uh, this is not the good way because you know i am clicking on this button my functionality is perfectly working and throwing me a message box stating this manager is not there in my list but values are still there so these should be cleared so what i will do is i will do one thing as soon as i will click on my button the previous data should be cleared so what i will do is i will go back to my vba code and i will do one thing I will say WSD dot select first of all and then what it will do is it will it will clear the data from cell this is C3 means 3 comma 3 equals to blank the value equals to blank and then comma four equals to black so let me now check this so let's say <clears throat> i have fetched the data for mohammadan sari clicked on it it's giving me error wsd okay because uh, i should have mentioned it somewhere after this now it will work for me so let me check this for mohammadan sari so this is for Muhammad Ansari. Now it is giving me the data for Muhammad Ansari, 80 and 81. Let me just check Naveen Sharma again. Now guys, previous values have been cleared and it's saying manager name is not in list. So this is how this find function is finding the exact value in the list and returning the values associated with that uh, you know with that match uh, in the you know uh, like it's returning perfectly here so this is how you can create such functionality if such kind of situation comes to you okay so this is all about today's video guys hope you will find this video useful and uh, if you are new to my channel and watching this video first time i would request you to kindly subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that notification of my upcoming tutorial could reach out to you on time thanks for watching guys as of now i am signing off bye bye take care and jai hind guys